right here and as you can see I'm in the hallway because I needed space so this is what I bought from Pokemon underscore John on Instagram and uh, I opened the box first because obviously I had my address on the cover so so here it all is it took a while but nicely he uh, accepted uh, payments and uh, installments for all of this because this is it costs a lot. So, I want to bore you with the price. Let's get started. So, let's see the top thing here is, oh look at that. This is, uh, I guess, little well, figures. It's a uh, Ditto and an action. And a Pikachu Ditto. That's cool. Yep, so that's the first thing. Um, next is this thing. It's uh, like a phone strap. The, uh, the bad guys, I guess. Because it's got like Lysander there, Guzma there, that weird guy from Plasma, I guess. Uh, Galactic, I think, was the other one. Then obviously, Magma and Aqua, obviously Team Rocket. So yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The camera's at an odd angle, so I'm not actually opening it on the screen. Am I? I'm just put the camera closer to me. Let's see which phone strap thing it is. Awesome. It's the Team Rocket one with Giovanni. It's rubber, obviously. It's got like, obviously, that with, I think, Nitto King, I think. With like the bar for the Team Rocket logo. That's awesome. I think out of all of the bad guys, you know, out of all of them, I think uh, Giovanni is Team Rocket. Well, it's because it's the original one, but also because it's just, he's just cool with his, you know, Persian. So sometimes I think maybe Persian should have been the Pokemon. But he didn't really fight with Persia as his main Pokemon. It's more of a more of a pet than an actual fighting one. So that's that one. So that I can use for now. And also then I can cut up the box for my scrapbook thing. So next we have this one. Um is uh Key ring out of one of these. So obviously it's like the uh, anniversary um, of some sort. I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah. I have all of the uh, gotcha little minifigures of this. And I've got like that plush. And like a card for that one. And I got that plush too. And a card for that one. All from Pokemon John too as well. But let's open this up. If I can. <laughs> I need to bring it forward because I can't. I don't want to mess up the box because I'm going to cut it up again. The main enemy of all the things is tape, I swear. The well, opposite is amusing when I watch other people open stuff. Doesn't. Like for like Christmas presents and stuff. I do love putting tape on this. Oh no, 
Liam's got it. I'm getting there. Slowly. Don't pick me slowly. Oh, that cardboard's sticky. And there we go. Okay, so it's sticky. Okay, so which key ring have we got today? It is very sparkly on the back, that's for sure. Look at the sparkle. And, ooh, it's the uh, uh, fireman one. I think it's the firefighter one. I think I read that somewhere, it's the firefighter one. That's pretty cool though, I guess. I think so cute little stand down thing. Yeah. Anyway. So personally I, I love the the Kimoto one and the ninja one is cute too. So the Sakura for a while. But anyway, still pretty cool because I don't think I really have any of him apart from that mini gotcha figure that I got. So that's cool. Um next we do, we're doing all the loose ones before we go to the terrain ones. Oh boy. This would take ages. Like ages, ages. Oh, it's that. At first I thought it would be like the, the mini nano blocks, but this is nano beads. So it's like those aqua bead things or whatever. So you, you place them on there. I'm gonna need to get tweezers. Am I gonna need to get tweezers? Does it come with tweezers? I might need to get tweezers. Oh well, I'll, I'll ask my sister for them later. But that's cool. Place the beads, iron them, and finished. Sweet. So it's a Pikachu and, oh it says Monster Ball, oh it says Pokeball. But yes, cool, I'll have to do that later. And, well, I won't be bored doing that, that's for sure. And this, I'll get back to this because I'll have to open it. I'll get back to it, but obviously that's a, uh, a beast ball. Well, it's supposedly maybe a Pokemon in it. I have no idea. Yes, it's got like a little Pikachu thing figure look like. So, uh, yeah, I'll open this at the end. Because let me take pictures of everything first before I, you know, finish. Okay, so, ooh, we got a little figure here. No idea what the uh, QR codes are for, so whatever. have a tab thing here but I don't want to use the tab so I'm gonna cut that up and put it in my scrapbook kit as always. It's like gum. Well how about that? So I'm just put this to the side of it. I can place that there. It's got gum. Ooh. I got a mini, uh, Alolan Vulpix. Cool. Let's place that there. Should I eat it? Yeah, I might as well eat it. Mm, I don't really chew when I talk, so I'll save it for later. But that's the little gum thing. Mm, what next? What next? Okay, here we go. Here's, I guess it's a, well, it's, I guess technically another blind box thingy. But it's, you can have these in it, I guess. So you could have a Pikachu, Rowlet, Ligon Rock, midday form or a midnight form. Raichu, Lolan thing. The jelly fish shower cap thing. And a ditto. Um, 
I don't know what this code is for. 30 there you go. I guess this is part of the game thing. I guess you can also get Solgaleo and Luna, Umbreon, Punkaboo, Mew, Jigglypuff, and Mysterious. Don't know if that's in the same thing or if that's something else. No idea. Still no idea. I mean, it's a language I can't even read, so. So that came the Pikachu. What is your stick at? <laughs> there we go. His ear is in the bag. Stand. Um, next one, I guess. Here's another one. Different Pokemon you can get on the side. I still have no idea what this game thing is for. Anyways. And again, I have no idea what the code is for. Whether it's the same or whatnot, but here you go. Back in. This one is slightly different. Same thing on the back though. So the back is the same. But this has got a different Pokemon on it. So Rayquaza, Papu, Gengar, Midday Like and Raw, Mimikyu, Lolan, Volpix, Decidueye, Greninja, Poliwhirl, Swablin, Pifion, and Psyduck. Mimikyu. Okay, so close this box back up. I'm having quite a few things to put in my scrapbook. like and it's a very shabby looking cosmog cool it's, it's not a finger puppet thing is it I mean you can put it on your finger of course I can't read it whatsoever oh by the way it has gum too Before day, it looks it's for sale in Japan only. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it is. I guess it could be like a finger thing, or it's just for sitting down. No idea. But yeah. Pretty 
Yes, have Pikachu and Mimikyu right next to each other. Two. Okay. Different uh, series. What is this one? Ooh, we got a, another piece of gum. Just in there. And a gold bat. I really want a gold bat. I wish it was a pretty one, you know. So anyway. Pokemon Pikachu Sweets Time Remit. Obviously, there's a bunch of bites, so I need to open them on this trip. But anyway, this comes with gum and a little sheet that shows what each of them are. ball and chain thing. The keyring bit. You can hook onto the silver bit. I have to adjust the brightness. And it will take off the brightness on my camera. It's getting too bright. As I said, the silvery bit on the back, if you can see. So that, he's, he's in a cup. Well, obviously the portable cup. He's, I guess, the cupcake. Number four. It says cupcake right there. Because it says it in English, otherwise I wouldn't be able to read it. So that's what that is. So that's cool. Let's mm. so just pop this right here. See what's well it's gonna fall over now. Uh, okay, so when you sit okay, I just place it on the other one. There we go. This by the way if you're wondering the camera does not have autofocus, that's why it stays blurry. So I made it to focus close up so you can see. Sorry. And this one is the pudding. Yay! Just place that there. Pudding! Sweet. Mm, obviously, it's sweet. Okay. Uh, this also has a silver bit, which you can attach to the Okay. Yay, pudding. Oh, yes, balanced. Okay, so here we have another sweet Pokemon dessert plate. It says. It looks so awesome. Oh, you can have these. Oh, look at that Snorlax one, I know. I know who'd love the Snorlax one, that's for sure. Yeah. Awesome, this is pancakes. Pretty sure it's pancakes. It's the number two, by the way. 
creepy. We can't really see it that well, so that's okay. It's very nice stuff. And another one. Ooh, awesome, yes. This is one of the ones that I really like. This one. Oh, that's Dragonite, isn't it? I didn't really see him at first. I mean, he's so tiny. Yeah. So this one, or the land, or the, the other Snorlax one would have been cool to get. Let me just place it back here. If I lean it back, hopefully it won't fall off. Anyway, see the awesome Vulpix and Alolan Vulpix. My Pikachu headed, uh, is that cake? Pretty sure it's cake. I hope it's cake. Not sure what else it would be. So cute. I'm sound dropping things. Okay, we got a heater down there. the Terranium ones. So I've got two of these ones. So um, I completely forgot which ones he pulled. So uh, it's either Pikachu, Lapras, Snorlax, Dragonair, Bulbasaur, and Eevee. Of course I gotta remember their English names because it's written in Japanese. But if you want to know, obviously EV is EV, but it's the E I E V U I. And Dragonair is Akuryu, because Ryu is dragon. And uh, Bulbasaur is a Fushigi Dane. And Pikachu is Pikachu. Very simple to remember. And Lapras is the place. Oh, because there's no, uh, there's no R in Japan, Japanese language. You know, even place it with an L or two L's. Something like that. Anyway, Snorlax is a cabby gone. Anyway, so let's see what it is. Obviously, it comes with gum. And here's the smaller version of the list. to be the Eevee one. Sweet! I love Eevee. Eevee Illusions in general and I really like... It's gonna take a bit. I really like the uh... I really like the um, Sylveon was my favorite Eevee Illusion. We get this platform down first. Let me tell a little closer look at the picture just to make sure I got it right. There. Then we'll have. Oh, I see. You need a plant thing. Just place. Down it. Gotta not lose the flowers, that's the thing. Okay, on here it's got a yellow, red, and blue in that order. So, 
say tiny flowers, this tiny thing, so it's yellow. No, it looks orange, I, it's supposed, I guess it could be orange too, but that's red. And blue, you place them in the little holes, it's fine here by the way. I dropped it, but luckily I'm in a very clear space, so there's not much room to lose it. Aha, uh -huh. there, see? Just like in the picture. Not that you can really see it very well. Yes, so I place that in the corner. Place Evie. There. Close the Pokeball. And voila. Here it is. Now I'm just not shake it too much because otherwise it'll go everywhere because it's not stuck down. So that's pretty cool. Let's put the trash back in the box. So I don't have everywhere to go. And okay. Second box. I'm not going too bad on time right now. And we've got another gum and another Thing. Um, checklist thing. Well, not checklist, but you know what I'm saying. So we'll put the other box back there. And by the green look of it, it's going to be Okay, so that's where it goes. So the flowers are supposed to go in, in his vines. Um, the red one on that side. Okay. I guess I don't have to do exactly like that. Well, it goes. I got to keep on consulting the picture to make sure I got it right. Okay. Put the thing on. And voila. This is the one that he opened earlier, I think. Because it wasn't in the, uh, the factory sealed things. Ooh. There's only in the above that. So, <clears throat> that is that. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six more of these terrarium ones. Terrarium Collection 2. Does this actually say that? Terrarium Collection. So, this one, I guess, that was the first one. And this is the second one. I really like this one because this one, I think it's all of them. Two, four, six. Yeah, I might have all of them. <clears throat> It's got the Psyduck and Poliwag, which is a Koduck and Neo Romo, a Sand and Kara Kara, which is Sand Slash, no Sand True and a Cubone, an Articuno is Freezer. Okay, at least it wasn't Freezer like on Dragon Ball. Um, then you got Togepi and Pikachu. The only difference from Togepi is well the Y. Here and not an eye. Then we got a Zenigame, which is the Squirtle, and a Lizardon, which is the Charizard. Okay, so which is this one first? And it's doesn't have the gun in this one, but it's got the mini thing. Wait. 
to line the back. This one is the Barracuda, which I'll just say is freezer. Hmm. Luckily, it's all in one. So just put it back around the white way. And here we have it. So that's that one. Number two. Huh, I do have to gum this one. Anyway. There we go. And this one is going to open sometime today. Come on, cake. Cooperate. You're kidding, right? Okay. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to put this one together. Well, who is the sand shrew and the uh, sand, uh, I mean, and the keeper? Yes, that's the word. It's very cool, these terrain things. And here we go. Goes with that. So let's bust it up here. Snip, snip, snip. Okay, so, we'll have to have a closer look at the thing. Okay, so... Also, that's what it is. Okay, so... Put it down like this. Going by the picture, anyway. Then... The next part... This is... The water. Obviously, this is a palm tree. If I get the uh, shape right, I think it's supposed to go like this. But sometimes they don't want to go in properly. Hang on, I'm gonna try and close. Basically, where it is. Ta da! Very simple. Then pop the poke bell top on. And try not to move it too much. Okay. Next box. Also has the. As you might tell, I am very symmetrical here. <clears throat> well, sort of symmetrical. Next one. I'm putting it together is half the I think. Oh, we got the squirrel. Okay, my guess is we've, we've got all of it, but just to make sure. Anyway, we need to get loads of water in this one. this 
So I was wondering what this thing was. Okay. So I'll slip there. That is for the waterfall. Ta-da! Then we have this. The water. Body of water. Then we've got to put it down for a second. We got a little water coming out. This way. Then just places low. Shout. My butt, I'm gonna swear his butt is anyway. In there. And voila. He is doing a backstroke. I don't know. What else would he be doing? Well, swimming. I mean, it's just a backstroke anyway, but I don't know. The next one is when I can get the tape off. Huh, Psyduck and Poliwhirl. So let's move the box after I look out to do a swim. That one, we're almost finished. Okay. There's a thing. There's a lily pad in those plant things. Those two. Oh, it's like the, the leaf that they have on the Totoro. Okay. I've actually watched that anime in a while. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with the land. Ah, so that's where it goes. Little plant things. And... Okay, I see, I see. Just put it down. So, little plant thingies. As you see, go in here. Ah, I'll have to take it out anyway. Okay, plant thing. Got the lily pad. This way. Okay, so now we can put them both in. Excuse me if you can hear that. That's my stomach. So there. And I've been resting on that. Ta da! There we have it. Yes. Oh, Polly World. Stand up. Really? He's rolling. Aha, uh -huh. okay. He's still standing. That's good. Okay, we got two left. Oh, man, I can't reach you. Here we go. Next. And we have to get another thing. Check this thing inside. 
Oh yeah, this is the Charizard. You can tell by the orange. Well, I guess. Some of the things are orange too, but eh. Probably this one won't be too, too bad. Oh, that's like there's only two cups anyway. That's good. Now the only other problem is, is where to put these. Because, as you might know, I kind of ran out of uh, space in my head. Uh, Oh, oh, I didn't notice. He came with a little fire thing. That's supposed to come out of his mouth because there is a hole in there. See? Wow. Okay, that's just weird. How do I, where do I put it in? There. Do I put it in like that? Maybe. Maybe not. I have no clue. But we're going to do it like that anyway. Maybe not, because they won't close. Okay. here. I am not sure where it goes. How do we go in? I'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere. Is it this way? get it on because it looks like that I managed to get it in like that but I don't really mind I mean I, I finally fit it back on <laughs> Two more things now. So this is the second to last one. And this obviously has the gun and the thing in it. Um, so I put it over here. And this, I guess, is the last one, is it? A bit all open. Oh, it's Christmassy like. Maybe I should have this as my background during Christmas time. It'll be different. I mean, I gotta. Martha Spencer shortbread cookie tree tin for the background for this year. I did get it last year. Well, the cookies anyway. But uh, I forgot 
when I pre-recorded that I had, I didn't take account into the, uh, the dates when I pre-recorded and scheduled last time. So this year, I will record it better. Okay, so. From the looks of it, we got Togepi sitting on the snowball. TK Junior will just be sitting there. So, we've got the uh, tree in the back. So here we have, oh, we got little shoe prints for Pikachu. So here it is, uh, it's flat on that side. So here goes the tree. I am guessing here goes the snowball, the little togepi just Sitting on top. Um, I need to turn it around. Yep, there we go. And Pikachu sitting in his little shoe, pr shoe prints right there. So, lower that down. Set Pikachu back up. Close the Pokeball. And presto. Very good for Christmas theme. Okay, so one last thing to do. She open. I mean, is this. So let me just finish taking a picture and then I'll get to opening it. Okay, so let's open this. Um, how do I open it? Got lots of tape. Um, should I just cut it? I'll just cut it. Sorry. Do what this is for, but the codes are different. There we go. Then um, I'll put them back in over there. So I wonder what Pokemon is in this Beast Ball. Oh, there is no Pokemon. You just put a Pokemon in it. I have a thought actually. From the looks of it, it's got the like a squarish rectangle um, on the uh, on the bottom. So maybe I can slip one of these in. Let's let's go for this. One. Will it fit in there? I think it will. So I am going to open this Pikachu one, and hopefully my hunch is correct and I'll just fit right in. See, because like this has, you know, the size of it, do you see? So I'm guessing it just fits right in, yeah, there, fits right in. So. I just like move it like this, it'll still be in its place. Obviously, 
probably an epic Father's Day one. <laughs> but there we go. I can even swap them out if I want to. Is what it is. So, so a big thank you for uh, Pokemon underscore John for inside me all of these lovely goodies. Oh, because yeah, I think he explained that he got these when he was in Japan last. <clears throat> and obviously, most likely, I wouldn't be able to really go because all of my stuff, medical stuff, that I'd have to take with me, which would be not as good because it's such a hassle right now and also with the wheelchair and everything but anyway this was awesome cool and i did find some place i think online which i can buy some more of the terrarium stuff so i was interested in and the remits though are hard to find but uh <clears throat> yeah that's everything. Just awesome. Big pokey haul this is. So uh, go check out his uh, Instagram. I don't know if he really sells any more stuff or if I bought the rest of his stuff that he was wanting to sell. <laughs> you believe it? How rude the battery died on me. Well, I was a little talk. But anyway, here are the close up of everything. I'll take me ages to do that, probably. I love, like, the food crossover. It's because it just makes me more hungry, but it's so cute, too. I mean, look at that pudding. Or flan, or whatever you want to call it. So awesome. I'm obviously the Pikachu that's in here, but I can't do it. I can't open it open. One minute. Oh, I opened it one hand. Oh, I used my leg, so I don't know if that counts. So yeah, that was... Try the gum. I don't, to be honest, I do not know if it's still in date. Should be. But let's see if it's any good. Though, gum takes a while to go off anyway. So. flavor. It's just got a uh, refreshing feel to it. It's not really minty at all though. At all. But it's more like a cool flavor. No, I can't put it into words on it. It's nice. There you go. It's nice. 
kayak nice kan tuh I feel like six plus pieces I can chew up because I'm only just eat them when I'm feeling peckish but I'm not hungry you know I don't feel like eating anything so I chew them instead sometimes or I just get out of bed and get ice cream or <laughs> from the freezer or something but yeah that's everything Kuno's cool. Wish they had Nente one though. That would be awesome. Because Nente is my favorite. I mean, his voice is so cool. In both English and Japanese. And, yeah. So Nente is my favorite. Uh, legendary. And obviously my favorite. Like, non-legendary or normal Pokemon is a Sylveon. Um, yeah, I guess um, either on Instagram or on here I'll do a mini little show and tell of me and my completed version of that. But we shall see. I guess that's closer to Anyway. I'll do uh, pictures of everything at the end of the video anyway. And then this is going to be a long video by the looks of it. 30 plus, 35 plus minutes. Well, so I so, hope you were, you had snacks or whatever with you because like, you probably should like, you know, sit back and relax, you know? But I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video instead of at the end. Who cares? Right. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell over and out.